<coughs> Hello, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Just trying to get you up to date here. There's two 65 watt solar panels, one more outside. There's uh, one of Cluggy's new wind turbines. And he's got a new channel, Jim's Little Green World. Anyway, there we uh, got my guitar up here. We cleaned this shop out. Organized it, set it all up. This thing was laying down, taking up a lot of room and stuff piled on both sides. I can get all the way to the back of my shop now. That means I got time to play with this and room to play with it. And everything else under under all these is just basically loaded up with tools. There's all toolboxes in that one, other things, uh, a welder and a few other things. And of course we still got the bench. The bench is pretty much cleaned up a lot more. Lots of room underneath in here. And all these cabinets down here finally got stuff in them rather than out here in front of the doors where you can't open the doors. Rearranged the shelves a little bit. There's all the knives. Everything up here. And up here, you see we got the rotor. The magnet rotor. That's what I'm working on today. Uh, 12 and 24 volt fan, which I've got directly to a solar panel. I don't have to worry about it. A spray bottle. Mist my arms down, get them nice and wet. A little bit on the shirt, sit in front of this thing, and you will get a chill. A poor man's air to be. But here is what I'm working on right now. Holy moly. Will you look at that? This wire goes to this one. This wire goes to this one. This one was unhit. This wire goes all the way over here to that one. And if you look, there's two more. So, <laughs> lots of fun on that. These two that are bent right here, are, uh, they go together and then the other two go together. So that kind of keeps them separate. Then I, I was thinking this one came all the way up into here, so I finally realized that it comes off the coil and goes back this way. Did a lot of extra chipping. I used a chisel, just very light tapping and watching chips fly. Of course I had my glasses and safety goggles on. And I was smart. I sat over there in the shade and the, with a little wind on me. It was pretty nice. It's a little warmer in here. I found this and I said, oh yeah, let's do it. And the old dump load was going over and over and over. I said, well, ain't no sense hooking up to the batteries and keeping that up. And this can take 24 volts. So Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Got everything all cleaned out in here. I ought to just step outside here real quick. Give you a full view of the shop. I got a bunch of empty boxes up there now. So all this room I have now. And everything's pretty much organized. I even got another table down here to play with. And room for two chairs if somebody wants to come and visit. So well, if you ever down this way, come on by. Anyway, it's just a short video to let you know what's going and how far I am. The next thing is a couple of them. Gotta get out and get shipped procrastinated too long. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things, you enjoy. And over here, you know, I got the little charge controller. This was sitting out in the sun. This was a dead battery. Anyway, I put a 65 watt solar panel on this thing. But I checked it up. She was about 12.8 volts. So I figured, uh, yeah, I'd just keep letting it charge. I got to get back out into the sun a little farther out here now. And one other thing, I've got a 45 watt solar panel sitting on top of my truck. That keeps the alternator from kicking on. And I've got a charge controller set right there in the dash. Same thing I got in the shop. I don't know if you can see that there. There we are. <laughs> That's the Coleman Air one I had to replace. And up here, I came out here and the prop was laying on the ground and that nut that was on the front, the stainless steel one, somewhere down there and all that brush, well it's a stainless steel nut, I mean a high quality stainless steel nut, that means the only thing that's going to find that is a metal detector and I haven't found one yet, 
I fished around with a magnet just in case, but that didn't work. But anyway, I got this back on. I drilled through the side of the hub, and then I took a good sized screw that would fit right into where the moon key goes, or the timing key, and I went ahead and took a tap, tapped the hole, screwed it in, put it right into that slot, and she's doing fine now. So now I got the big watts coming back. I'm quite happy. That's all, all in one day. And I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energy. Many good things for you and yours. Don't you know it? Cover up the sound of the fan. We got the stereo down here, and that's all running. And it's 92 degrees. <coughs> it's a little humid. Finally, the first sun we've seen in days. And I'll tell you what. When you put, you mess your arms down here and sit in front of this fan. It's running straight off the solar panel. You can get a chill real quick. So that kind of takes the heat off real good. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, another home energy. Another big thing to do, boys.